There are some things, dear friend, are easier far to say in written words than when we sit eye answering eye or hand to hand close knit. Not that there is between us any bar of shyness or reserve. The day is past for that, and utter trust has come at last. Only, when shut alone and safe inside these four white walls, hearing no sound except our own heart beatings, silences have crept stealthily round us, as the incoming tide, quiet and unperceived, creeps ever on till mound and pebble, rock and reef are gone. Or out on the green hillside, even there there is a hush, and words and thoughts are still. For the trees speak, and myriad voices fill with wondrous echoes all the waiting air. We listen, and in listening must forget our own heart's murmur and our spirit's fret. Even our joys, thou knowest, when the air is full to overflowing with the sense of hope fulfilled and passion's vehemence, there is no place for words. We do not dare to break love's stillness, even though the power were ours by speech to lengthen out the hour. But here, in quietness, I can recall all I would tell thee, how thou art to me impulse and inspiration, and with thee I can but smile, though all my idols fall. I wait my meed as others who have known patience till to their utmost stature grown. As when the heavens are draped in gloomy grey, and earth is tremulous with a vague unrest, a glory fills the tender, troubled west that glads the closing of November's day. So breaks in sun smiles my beclouded sky when day is over, and I know thee nigh. Thou art so much, all this and more to me. And what am I to thee? Can I repay these many gifts? Is there no royal way of recompense, so I may proudly see the man my heart delights to praise renowned for wealth and honor and with rapture crowned? Ah, though there is no recompense in love, yet have I paid thee given these gifts to thee, joy, riches, worship. Thou hast joy in me. Is it not so, beloved? Who shall prove no worship of thee by my soul confessed? And riches? Ah, a wealth of love is best. I have been pondering what our teachers call the mystery of pain. And lo, my thought, after its half-blind reaching out, has caught this truth and held it fast. We may not fall beyond our mounting. Stung by life's annoy, deeper we feel the mystery of joy. Sometimes they steal across us like a breath of eastern perfume in a darkened room, these joys of ours. We grope on through the gloom, seeking some common thing, and from its sheath, unloose, unknowing, some bewildering scent of spice-thronged memories of the Orient. Sometimes they dart across our turbid sky like a quick flash after a heated day. A moment where the sombrous shadows lay we see a glory. Though it passed us by, no earthly power can filch that dazzling glow from memory's eye, that instant's shine and show. Life is so full of joys. The alluring sea, this morning clear and placid, may, ere night, toss like a petulant child. And when the light of a new morning dawns, sweep grand and free, a mighty power. If fierce, or mild, or bright, with every tide flows in a fresh delight. I can remember well when first I knew the fragrance of white clover. There I lay on the warm July grass and heard the play of sun-browned insects, 
and the breezes blew to my drowsed sense the scent the blossoms had the subtle sweetness stayed and i was glad nor past the gladness though the years have gone a many years beloved since that day whenever by the roadside or away in radiant summer fields wandering alone or with glad children to my restless sight shows that pale head comes back the old delight oh the dark water and the filling sail the scudding like a seamew with the hand firm on the tiller see the red shored land receding as we brave the hastening gale white gleam the wave tops and the breakers roar sounds thunderingly on the far distant shore this mad hair flying in the breeze blows wild across my face see there the gathering squall that dark line to the eastward watch it crawl stealthily towards us o'er the snow wreaths piled close on each other ah what joy to be drunk with salt air in battle with the sea so many joys and yet i have but told of simple things the joys of air and sea not all these things are worth one hour with thee one moment when thy darling arms enfold my body and all other meaner joys fade from me like a child's forgotten toys one thought is ever with me glorying all life's common aims surely will dawn a day bright with an unknown rapture when thy way will be my journey road and i can call these joys our joys for thou wilt walk with me down budding pathways to the abounding sea.